If you ask me, a look is never complete without accessories. And trust me, I would know. I love my accessories as long as they're done right. I'm a big fan of something on my wrist at all times. But today, of course, I wanted to show off my handmade Italian ring. And that's why I try to keep my wrist clean. Yes, that's the trick. If you want to show off that little ring on your finger or the big ring on your finger, you must keep your wrist clean. Um, you could go either with a watch or a beautiful cuff and most of these accessories that I'm showing you are from my wardrobe. The other thing that I also love as far as my wrist or my arms are concerned is a lot of stacking. So you could do multiple tiny beautiful bracelets and stack them all together and there are no rules. You could do gold with silver, with rose gold or just you know throw in a little bit of a color, maybe even an evil eye. As long as there is a story in there, it's worth being around your wrist. I love my sunglasses, yes I do. These are great tones and you can never go wrong. If you ever wanna dress up a really simple look, even if it's just denims and a white shirt, just wear really big sunglasses and you're good to go. So belts are great, you're never running short of belts when it comes to black ones, so you can have um, one for your denims, one high waist one, you can have a slim black belt and there are no rules when you're actually using a belt. It's okay to get rid of the belt, but then sometimes when you see a really large dress from yourself and you think that you want to cinch it, it's okay to use a belt from somewhere else and cinch it. So just think about it, assess the situation, assess the dress, and then use the belt because you could go really right or very wrong with it. And then of course we have earrings. We have little earrings and then we have medium-sized earrings and then we have really long earrings and then there's just a whole industry of earrings that goes on there. So decide on what your outfit is and what your body type is. It really defines your face, the right kind of earrings. So this one's a beautiful choker and it just, you know, it's just really simple. And then when you want to dress up something very casually, you could go for a choker. A lot of people would imagine that these black chokers would make an outfit even more formal, but no, I think they actually make it a lot more casual. So if you have just a t-shirt and denims and flip-flops on, a choker would be a great idea. It's not a no-no to wear something long or something that is just around your neck like a choker. In fact, you can team both of them together. Even that looks great. Headbands, yes. So you could do something really simple and just throw on a headband or a scarf and it just makes an extremely simple look very, very hot. So these were some of my essentials from my list of must-have accessories. And remember, in Coco Chanel's words, right before leaving the house, remember to take off that one accessory. Yes, you could either overdo it or underplay it. And if the choice is between overdoing and underplaying the accessories, always underplay it.